Kia whana, Dr. Fee here, giving you another presentation on how to do presentations um, or um, otherwise known as AKA, how to make sure that you don't fail in your presentation component to both specialist practice and to evaluating positive youth development initiatives. What I'm expecting in your presentations is interim feedback on your research to date, whether that research be based on a literature review or on evaluating one of three initiatives. Uh, you can see here I've opened up uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm up to presentation number seven because all six other videos haven't worked so far. So here's hoping. All right, so presentation number seven. Uh, I don't like white in the background. It's just a personal thing. You might like it. That's all good. You can have a white background, but I'm going to change my background. So I'll go to design and I'll just have a look at what these different backgrounds are that Microsoft's saying. Um, that looks pretty cool. Nah, I'll just go for a background style. Black. So black is back. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll base my whole presentation around that black. And whenever I want to insert a new slide, I go home and new slide. If you click down that little arrow down there, you can see a whole lot of different shapes. I just tend to mix and match on the title and content slide because you can add stuff to those slides as well. So we'll call this uh, timetabling in the BYD. Yona Bills. Next slide overview. I'll be expect, expecting these basic components to come through in all um, So, in all your presentations, I'm expecting that you are going to give us a little bit of a background. Why are you doing this, this research? And um, what your key questions are. Now, in evaluating information, those questions are now in those books, as well as your methods and your methodology. What was your methods that you used to find that question? Now, in evaluating, I'm expecting an ology as well. So, was it qualitative, was it quantitative, or mixed? In um, specialist practice, I just need to know the methods that you use to find your literature. Um, for myself with Montaz, it will be uh, mainly method, uh, because it, all it really was was a survey on what we needed to do for programs. It wasn't really a piece of evaluation research. Findings to date, what did your literature review tell you? If, and, and what has your literature review tell, told you? What has your own research told you in evaluating um, positive youth development initiatives? Or what has the analysis of the literature, literature told you in specialist practice? And what are the implications for own practice? And that's both for your community and for, um, uh, and for yourself, for your organisation and self. So I go to add a new slide. I can just go here. What I tend to do with um, overview slides is duplicate them. Now, the reason for duplicating the slides is very simply that I remember where my map is taking me. Uh, your overview slide is your map. It's telling people what can, they can expect. Um, so I therefore then go onto each other slide, like this slide, and actually go down to calling it background. That's my first slide. Um, and I try not to have complete sentences on the slides. It's keywords, keywords to prompt me and keywords to tell the audience what's happening. So we have the background was really on student um, engagement and staff perceptions. So we've had, as you all know, we've had uh, a few students um, leave us in the BYD and um, what staff have found noticed is that these students really struggled with their assignments really early on in the, in the program and often didn't come to blocks. So um, hence this idea that emerged that maybe um, block courses don't really work because if you miss one block, 
you can technically miss all the information you need for your assignments. So that's the background, that's the motivation to why we actually set up that survey. Um, if, because I just use that standard layout, if I want to add a picture, uh, you should always make sure that your pictures are highly relevant. Last picture I looked for was hip hop. Don't think that's relevant. Okay, um, I might put the word student in. I might throw a picture up of one of you, but better not. But there we go. I'll put that picture in. Voila. I'll just make that go a little bit lower, a little bit higher. So, you know, I, I also go to the point of having just whole slides of just pictures and no words because I can use pictures for prompts and I am all for not thinking that the audience needs to look at me the whole time. So after that, I have my key question. So as you know, my key question is, you know, does timetable, what, what do students think about timetabling and block courses in the BYD? So I'll just write that on one slide. What do students think? I'm not going to do that here because um, we're trying to get through this PowerPoint quite quick, this, this presentation quite quickly. Methods, I'll put down that I used a survey and um, talked to students across the BYD. Um, and, and informally, I got feedback from students within um, block courses themselves. So I have some qualitative stuff there as well that I can incorporate. But as um, I didn't you know, get ethical permission, I can't quote any of these students. I can just say, you know, um, to date um, experiences um, in the block courses, students have feedback that they generally like the block courses. Um, there's been some problems about locations and, and stuff, but we, yeah, we've got to get that right. Um, findings to date. At this point, I'm expecting you to be putting in a little bit about what your literature review said. So findings to date. Uh, I think it was Bolval, who's one of my writers, talked about getting the first year right. So I'm going to talk to Montaz about the need of setting systems in place in the first year that are really working for students. Uh, making sure in the first week that we can have Moodle working because if we lose engagement in that first week, then things go wrong. Um, I'll just check to see what my other literature is. Awesome. Um, so, So Horseman was very much about how do we use technology and, and he very much talked about using um, text messaging and stuff so that we could really keep the students engaged. And my last one was Jeffrey. Uh, so Jeffrey's writing about blended learnings, which is what the BYD is all about, and saying, hey, we've got to make sure that if you are using technology, that you have the right blending between face-to-face -face and technology. So that's what my literature review has told me, and that's what I'm going to feedback to Montaz about the literature review.